All right, so here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap up the course. Congratulations for getting all the way through the front end development course. We're gonna take a look at some best practices that are good for you to remember when you are developing those themes, layout templates, as well as some of the actual templates on the platform as well. So again, these are best practices that are generally going to be helpful for you. Ultimately, um, it's good for you to set practices with your company or whatever context you're working in. In general, we recommend building your themes based off of the styled theme, okay? So using that clay base and also including that Atlas theme as well, like we have in the theme we built together, all right? Remember that portal normal is the HTML source file, okay? That's where everything's gonna go. If you need to be modular, you can go ahead and create other free marker files and include them in the portal normal, all right? For styling, that underscore custom.scss partial is gonna be where all of your customization should go, your general global customizations. But of course, you can modify specific partials in the clay base as well, and make sure those are included in the custom SCSS. All right. For JavaScript, we have that main.js. We need to use one of those three callbacks that we talked about in the JavaScript section, so keep that in mind. That's where your global JavaScript functions are gonna go, and those will be loaded on every page. Okay. When it comes to images in your theme, uh, in general, it's actually a best practice to include uh, sprite images or maps, depending on where you're coming from, and using CSS to place those images in your theme if you need more than just some simple thumbnails. Okay. For all of the bigger images for the actual content or fragments, those would obviously be included in the platform through the use of things like web content or actual page fragments. Okay. And for configuring our theme, we can take advantage of that liferay look and feel .xml. All right, so that's some best practices for uh, theming specifically. In general, we would definitely recommend taking a modular approach with all of the different file types that we've used in both our themes and our templates. All right, so in our themes, again, break out some of those free marker files, create custom ones and include them. This is true for HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All right, and this is also true for our templates on the platform as well. If we have some common presentation or design, we can take advantage of those generic templates and then include them into some of the other templates as well. All right, remember for our CSS in our themes, we can take advantage of SAS and Bourbon. Okay, so we can use some of those features like inheritance and nesting. We can use those CSS3 mixins and even create some of our own custom mixins as well. In general, while we recommend using semantic JavaScript for upgrading purposes, uh, you do have the ability to use some of the features like Metal.js, uh, Lodash, and jQuery as well, okay? But from our perspective, we would say as a best practice for JavaScript, use semantic JavaScript whenever you have the ability to. And lastly, if you wanna go ahead and bridge that gap between you as the front-end developer and the administrators, you can go ahead and take advantage of those customizations in your theme. You can go ahead and take a look at things like theme settings, portlet decorators, color schemes, or even bundling in the layout template in your theme as well, all right? By providing those configurable options to your administrators, you can give them the control and the power, the ability to make whatever changes they need without having to go back and change the source code of our theme. For those of you who may be responsible for uh, performing other tasks on the platform as well, such as content management or even backend development, I would highly recommend some of the other courses that we have available here, okay? Otherwise, thank you for sticking around. Congratulations on finishing the course and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.